Yo, what's up YouTube, YouTube world? I'm back here with another video. Uh, different type of video. Uh, this right here won't be, you know, music remastering or anything like that. Uh, uh, some of the things that y'all normally used to seeing. But right here we have a riding lawnmower that uh, I got from my sister. Shout out to my sister. Uh, she hooked me up. And you will not believe how much I paid for this riding lawnmower. All right, so before I tell y'all on how much I paid for this riding lawnmower here, uh, I'm gonna tell you some issues that it has. It does run, it does cut, it does drive. Um, although this front tire down here may not be in frame, but anyway, uh, you know it, it works. Uh, we drove it off the trailer earlier today. So uh, again, this right here is the Troy built Bronco. It has an automatic transmission. We'll get some uh, better and more footage of this here riding lawnmower here uh, briefly. This right here has a Kohler, I wanna say a Kohler Courage uh, twin cam. Uh, yeah, it's a twin cam. I haven't really just had too much time to really just uh, investigate this riding lawnmower. But what it needs is, it needs the same thing as my Troy Bill Pony. Do y'all remember the Troy Bill Pony? Well, as you seen that little clip right there that I just added to this video, uh, yes, it needs a steering shaft. It needs a tune up very, very bad uh it also um been sitting in the weather my sister bought a cub cadet zero turn it runs off batteries or whatever but yeah i got this riding lawnmower here from my sister for 100 all right so my wife she uh joined me here and uh her name is wendy so anyway uh she's just checking that out whatever so yes, this riding lawnmower needs a, a tune-up. I think it has gas in the uh, oil, which we will find out here shortly. I don't know if it has, um, I don't know if it has gas in it or not, but I smelt of it and it smells like to me that it has uh, gas in the oil. She said that this right here, um, been sitting for a while. But it still cranks the battery is fine so anyway uh i guess without further ado let's go ahead and uh let's take a closer look at it all right so there's gonna be a few change of plans here uh one it's real hot out here it's like 80 some degrees 90 or whatever and anyway uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this tire on i don't want to drive it like it is uh not that i'm really worried about the uh rim little tire but let's go ahead and let's change uh this tire and let's get it into workshop all right by the way uh this right here is a cast iron what I'm jacking up on right here. So gotta be a little bit careful. You know that the, the the way that you got it on now is backwards. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to get it on there, I mean. Let me see. Something here. Let's try to. There we go. Had to take that off. It's like a spacer. So I finally got this here on what it was. It was this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a spacer or something. It was sitting right, right back here. It was sitting right there. So what I done was I just 
remove that put the tire on i finally got uh the tire back on and all that yes i'm a hot nature person but anyway yeah uh, that's the same thing she thinks too but anyway yeah uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh fire this thing here on up but anyway we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, see if we can get this thing moved on in to the shop i'm not exactly sure on uh how this thing here uh, operates i mean uh there's a few things that's different about this here uh that pedal that's right right down over there so anyway let's go ahead and let's see what happens Hopefully there's some uh, steering about this thing. So my wife, she's uh trying to get the pony out. Hang on. I try to help. Oh yeah, oh yeah, y'all won't be getting to look at that. I'm gonna have to have to block or blur that out. But right now, my main concern is getting this up in here. All right, so we got the uh, Troy Bill uh, Bronco up in here, and uh, feels better. <laughs> got a fan blowing. So anyway, yeah, let's get to work. All right, so the first thing what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna uh, disconnect these lights here. Check this out. All right, so I'm gonna do lift up. All right, uh, so here we are back with the Troy Bill Rod Line where I took the hood off and I just put it uh, right over to the side. All right, uh, now y'all can get a little bit better view. This right here is a Kohler. As you can see right there, it says twin cam. All right, and you have some uh, little information right there. Now this right here, I can't make this out. If anybody can make that out down in the comment section, let me know. Because I can't read it. I just took a little bit of uh, WD-40 and I had kind of uh, cleaned it a, a little bit. I want to say this right here is maybe a 20 or a 22 horsepower Kohler engine. I don't know if this right here is a 1.3 uh, tank or whatever uh, later on we're gonna be removing that so this right here is your Ford and reverse I think uh, no I think that's your uh, Ford pedal you got your uh, key switch here we have uh, the throttle then we have the run brake and all that stuff right down there you have like a little spot to put uh i guess maybe a phone or something like that whatever you want to put up in there all right so then right here you have uh this here to lower your deck this right here is to engage the blades right here you have your four neutral and reverse these right here are the uh factory tires what came on the riding lawnmower on the back so anyway, uh, what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to fix this seat because that seat is, <laughs> it's bad. 
this right here is a 42 inch uh, deck and then it's got the uh, anti scalp wheels I got more uh, blades for this here or whatever what I want to do right now is is I want to go ahead and I want to uh, test this battery y'all see that right there I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, start by removing these rusted bolts here That right there just literally broke. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna remove the battery right now. This right here has 300 cold cranking amps. What we're about to do right now is, um, I cleaned up the terminals here. What I'm about to do is I'm gonna test this battery and we're gonna see uh, if it's a good battery or not. And we have ourselves a good battery. All right, so uh, now what I'm about to do is, is I'm about to uh, start scraping the paint or what's left of, if you want to call paint, because if I don't do something about this here now, uh, yeah, it's gonna get worse. So now we got some rust noleum gloss uh, paint. I finally got this wire crimp. It was actually not frayed, but it was real brittle all up in, uh, well, like from this part, let's just say all the way to here. I cleaned up uh, the connections. Uh, we're gonna take this seat off here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I got uh, some nuts and bolts. This right here is down up in there. See that? A brand new bolt like 30 something cents make sure it fits but anyway what I what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to take this uh, bolt here and put it down up in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pull up on it and this thing here it's wanting to move let me go ahead and let me try to uh, fish this guy right here out and I'll bring you back here's what I came up with uh move y'all a little bit closer so anyway uh, i took this here it's uh, a magnet i'll show y'all what i mean here in a moment and anyway yeah uh i actually was able to um get the bolt to start threading all right but yeah as you see i got it started why well, hey check this out you know what I can do I can actually grab my epoxy uh, the JB well plastic bonder and uh, let me grab another pair of pliers here mm. there we go now see it's in there but we need to put the plastic bonder on there all right so this right here is what I used too long it won't get in frame but yeah that's what I used to all right so here we have our two-part epoxy and we're going to put it all on here I like to got a better dab y'all like I can't even see what you doing let me put a little bit right here So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uh, proceed on with this. We're gonna find something else that we can get into. Let's go ahead and let's pop off this uh, air filter. Oh my lord. <laughs> Y'all see this right here? Wow. That right there is crazy. Now let's take a look at uh, the air filter. Yeah, man. That's it. <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> okay, so I want to give y'all a shot of all of this here. I mean, that's the carb down there. I'm hoping this carb isn't uh, maybe got anything in it. I got that closed for now. 
because I got the cover and everything laying up there. Look at this fuel filter. Original Kohler um, oil filter. All right. I just washed my hands uh, to give me some Gatorade. And this is that information right there. And I want to also mention that this right here, I've never seen it on a Troy built. If you have, let me know, but this right here is uh, cast iron. I like that. Take a look at this rim right here. Like I say, you got that all crimped up, taken care of. Check this out. This right here, what I was saying earlier. Is that supposed to be like that or no? It looks like it's welded. Or is that the way it's made? There's nothing really too much wrong with it. It's just I'm going, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to touch up some stuff. So anyway, uh, I got a lot of videos coming very soon. Uh, I just really haven't had the time go in and edit them. Also what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to uh, order all the parts what I need for this old piece. Alright, so uh, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, this right here is going to be episode one. So, with that right there being said, I'm Memphis Dark Side Music TV and stay tuned for episode two.